Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of, well, Skyrim Special Edition, because guess the fuck what? Uh, Final Fantasy XV decided to update on day of recording. Again. It's been years since that's happened. Or at least it feels like years. <laughs> it's been a while, so I'm a little surprised that it happened. But, nonetheless, it happened. Um, it's about 25% through actual updating right now. Um, so, yeah. I'm a little SOL. <laughs> so, I figured, instead of just having no video at all today, because I have to work today, I figured I'd just revisit Skyrim in the special edition version. And, uh, yeah. We'll do that. We have a couple things in this file that I want to do. But, uh, first we should probably show off the character a little bit. And, uh, I think I've shown you before, and this is still the stray cat file. Where it's me. <laughs> Mainly me. My particular style. Oh, my stomach is yelling at me. <laughs> All right, there's the horse. There's my horse. And there we go. As you can see, I've got a uh, mod for katanas in the game. I uh, should show that off near the end of the uh, episode. <laughs> and uh, this one is, in particular, the Dragon Bone Katana and Wakizashi. Because I am a nerd. <laughs> I like it and keeps it nice and separated so that way uh, when I don't have enchantments on the weapons quite yet I uh, don't have to deal with trying to figure out which weapon goes on what hand it's just easy done all right now there is a bandits den I need to clear out so I might as well head over there also, I got Nord arrows on the Nord hero arrows on the back of my uh, there, <laughs> back of my character there. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. My brain, you're broken. All right. <laughs> nice, nice timing on their horse. Nice timing. Okay, bile get bile gulch mine. I think that was the thing I needed to do right now. At least I remember seeing it like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Well, I'll find out. <laughs> By the time I get there, the loads aren't too terrible, at least in the special edition, so... There's at least that benefit. Alright, um... It was... Yep, it was at Bile Gulch Mine. Why it's not showing, I have no idea. Okay, let's get down off the horse. Just keeps wanting to swish the tail, I guess. Wants to give a show to the people. I guess. Mm. Not sure why. Anywho. Oh. Oh. They've noticed me. Fuck. Didn't really get that far, did I? Whoop. You fuck. Nice try. Asshole. And you don't got much. Uh, of course not. Well. I'm waiting on you. They're all... Okay. This guy seems to know what's up, but... Only just kind of lost himself. Now, yeah, grab that. Why not? Really? Did he just see me and run away? Like, nope, nope, not dealing with him. I've seen him a dozen times. I'm, I'm running away. That might be what he's doing, actually. Now that I think about it. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck in here. Come on. There we go. Ooh, ebony. That was good. That was a good thing. That was a very good. All right, I thought there was something more over there. Turns out not. All right. Well, I'm just going to crawl up here, hoping eventually they'll uh, stop looking for me. And in the meantime... Pop out the dragon bone bow because I haven't gotten to the crossbows yet. 
Where are you? Oh, hi there. Whoops. Okay. That was my bad. I was expecting you to actually go over to there. That was my bad. Whoop. Okay. Hi there. Whoop. Ha-ha. You can't beat my quickness with my swords. Ha-ha. <laughs> Alrighty. And where's the other guy? Just seems to be sitting over there. Where's the arrow that I dropped? Well, since he's not coming to me, I might as well look for the hero. Uh, was that it? Did I just miss it? Get blessed. Dip, up, bad. There we go. That's the arrow. Well, you say you're gonna skin me alive. Right now, you're uh, not here. Where'd he go? You keep disappearing. <laughs> what the hell? Where'd you go? Oh. Pray to Stendar while you can. Uh, or you just beat your ass because you decided to sit in this alcove here. Whoop. Okay, come on. I just wanted to loot you. All right. Well, shit. Ah, uh, nothing real good on you. Just that little bit of gold. Well, let's fucking teleport back up here. So I don't want to have to deal with doing that all over again. Thank you, fast loading screen. Made it semi worthwhile. Alright. Up we go. Sheesh. I got the enhanced blood textures mod in. Oh my god. It makes everything look like a fucking murder scene. I love it. <laughs> Every attack looks like a proper death scene. Look at all that blood. Look at all that. Most of that's his. <laughs> Obviously, because he's dead. Uh, we got Orchalcum there, and I don't really need that. Oh, you might have noticed the weight as well. That's a, uh, that's a mod as well. <laughs> Again, I'll explain all of those when I get to them. That's actually valuable. I'll kind of pick that up. The rest of this is not at all. So, we'll just leave those alone. What do we got here? Eh, eh, boop, if I can open the bitch. God! Dickity, damn it, fucking fuck. I'm gonna think after all these years playing this game, I would be good at the lockpicks, but no. No, I suck. I suck so much. Alright. But yeah, maybe I'll pick these up. And second thought, maybe not. There's no real point. I'll try to clean off my glasses while this loads. Well, I forgot. This loads real fast. <laughs> Sometimes I forget while I'm in the middle of doing something stupid. Although, cleaning my eyeglasses is kind of necessary. Alright. Well, let's avoid those entirely. There we are. Let's get the bow again. And he should be down there. There, wow. Wow. That was a lot of damage. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> hey. Take that. I'll take that back. Thank you. And you didn't get any real good armor on you. That's disappointing. Yeah, well. Still have the key from last time. <laughs> Elven mace. I can melt that down at the very least. Okay, um... Oh, raw beef. I'll take that. Wait, did he have anything I could melt down on him? Now that I think about it? Nothing... Well, I mean, the Warhammer. I can melt that down for sure. Alrighty, and... I don't think there's anything else down here other than Orchalcum. And that's not worth it to me, because I'm long past that. Yeah, that should be just fine. We are good. We are good. There we go. Haha, <laughs> we have done the thing. 
Oh, and I forgot we have a level up. All right. I'm gonna put it into stamina. Why not? Well, I can't put it in there because it's already all the way full. Um. Where should I put it? That is a good question. Hmm. Should have thought of that. <laughs> but of course I didn't because I am a dumb. Uh. Can't put it in the archery yet. God damn it. So much nicer if I had that. Um. Why not Lightfoot? Won't trigger pressure plates. Uh, everything else past that's kind of worthless, though. Although, silence would be nice. That's about all that's useful in the sneak tree. Um. Put it in a speech. Screw it. Why not? Uh, haggling. Yeah, let's do that. Don't really need bribery all that much. Mainly because I'm not a crook. I am not a crook. I am not a crook. Okay. Whee! And there we go. We did the thing. Oh. Orca share. I'll take that. Thank you. Alright. Now, uh, let's, uh... Let's go back to where that was given to us. Over in Falkreath. Aha! Alright. <sighs> Man, it's been a while since I've played this. <laughs> there we are. And the shops are closed. Great. Fantastic. That's what I wanted. Not really. Ah, uh, well. We have the thing. We have the thing done that we needed to do. So we're all good. Oh, uh, damn it. Oh, he's, she's up there. Okay. He's asleep, but she's up here. Okay, cool. I'm hey, Nanya. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. That's nice and all, but I defeated the Bile Gulch Mine bandit leader. I killed him dead. I'm here for the banny. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Thank you. There we go. 210. That's just wisdom fine. wisdom forever light your path. Thank you. Here's hoping, right? All right. And that's another thing Ahmad has touched. <laughs> Uh, it's one that makes it a little more realistic. And in a lot of other ways, it makes other things realistic. And it uh, isn't always to your benefit. <laughs> that's, uh, that's actually something I love about that mod. And I'm going to pimp it out a little bit. While I'm, uh, while I'm doing this. Because Final Fantasy decided to be a fuck. Uh, again. All right, let's head back home, shall we? Whoops, that was the wrong button. I went under GTA rules, and I don't know why I did that. <laughs> there we go. Up we go. And left. All right. Well, so far, so good. Is that Mike? Mike has been stuck here the entire time. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Mike, my friend, how are you? Snow falls. Why worry where it goes? Mike thinks the snowflakes are pretty. Yes, yes, they are. Skyrim was once the land of many butterflies. Now, not so much. Yeah, because most of them have been eaten up by me. Much snow in Skyrim. Enough snow. Maik does not want any more. Yeah, I've been hearing that about the state a lot, too. What? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Maik is tired now. Go bother somebody else. Alrighty. Alrighty, then. Uh, yeah, like I said, he's been stuck over here for a while. I think it might be a mod conflict or, uh... 
maybe, fuck if I know, probably a uh, issue with the game itself after an update that they did. Maybe, I don't know. All I know is that it's broken. He's just been stuck there the entire time. Never seen him anywhere else. Then again, I don't really go anywhere else. <laughs> so, that probably doesn't help. Oh boy, that was my bad. Sorry, horsey. Uh, I forgot. Uh, horses are also immortal with a mod. Because uh, <laughs> I was just sick of having them die every other fucking time. And uh, while that is useful, you still hear the dying screams. <laughs> like they are actually getting hurt. And they're really not. So it uh, fucks with your brain. <laughs> and it's probably a good thing. All right. Whee! Ha! I'm home with my money. And oh, none of my stuffs are grown yet. Except, no, not even wheat. That's weird. Well, fuck. All right. Well, so much for that. Did I hear something? That was weird. Might have been a chicken. It actually might have been a chicken, now that I think about it. Yep, that was a chicken. Alright. <laughs> Here I am, back at home. We have done our little excursion. To kill in the name of the... Th well... Not the name of the Thane. Although we are the Thane. Uh, kill in the name of the Jarl. There we go. <laughs> Brain doesn't want to work. Also, this is the Daedric version of the uh, Katanas. And... Wakazashi. It looks so cool. It is the coolest looking thing. This actually looks like Daedric. How they managed to uh, get that texture in there to do that is beyond me, but it just looks so good. I love it. If I could somehow convince the mod maker to make a green version, that'd be great. <laughs> But I don't think they would do that. I don't have that much pull in this fucking... <laughs> in this entire fucking community. I have not that much pull at all. Anywho, this is the uh, kitchen here. The uh, oven and whatnot. I figured it would be nice to have. Oh, I gave a... Uh, gave my... Uh, st not Stuart. Uh, dup, dup, dup. Man, I'm forgetting the terminology. <laughs> House Carl. Jesus Christ. Uh, I gave her the uh, glass katana after I was done with it. And, uh... My other one... Is... My uh, steward is actually... Fucking... Where is Uthgard? God damn it. Girl just runs away and I can't find her. Man... Anyway, she should be somewhere. Probably outside. There you are, Uthgird. Hey there. I was looking for you. Okay. Well, I think I can call this a successful uh, stand-in episode because Final Fantasy XV decided to be a fucking update on the day of recording. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's uh, get to the mods that I was saying I was going to showcase. Some of these are stuff you've already seen. Some of you probably use this, and others do not. That's just fine. I'm just going to pimp out the ones I like. Which are a lot. <laughs> Eventually, once it loads it... Jesus Christ. There we go. The, Of course, the standard unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. Um, got the better claws and gauntlets, which... Helps for the uh, goofy bug where particular gauntlets will stop the claws from showing up on the uh, hands of Argonians and uh, da, ba, da, ba, da. Khajiit. God damn, my brain. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, it, you ever notice that bug that some gauntlets will not let them show even though they should be easily shown? And I think this is an easy way to fix that, personally. Got the fur colors, which I have not delved into yet. I was gonna check that out. 
uh, haven't gotten to the uh, face reconstructor person yet. <laughs> this one's 50% more perk points. I figured it's a little cheatsy doodly, but I wanted to try it. And thus far, I'm a little happy with it. It adds more perks to uh, what you get. And it's usually... It's usually probably better to get onto a uh, fresh save because sometimes it doesn't proc like it's supposed to on a uh, retroactive save, but it still works. I uh, got this so that way the hair will actually show in the back from the uh, elven and glass helmets because that always used to be an annoyance to me. It's like, all of a sudden, now I'm bald. Just, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, Ars Metallica and the smelting fix as well, because if you're going to have Ars Metallica, uh, sometimes it doesn't want to show the uh, stuff you can smelt down until after you've earned the perk, and that's annoying. So the smelting fix allows it so you can at least smelt them down, or at least smelt the ore stuff down without having the perk. The Parthenax Dilemma, the True Storms, that, that one's nice and immersive. Unleveled Lists, Diverse Guards, that, that one I like. This actually makes sense. The Follower I haven't gotten yet, a Follower I haven't gotten yet, a Child I haven't gotten yet, Essential Horses, that's the Immortal mod I was talking about, Bandelier, of course I have that. I have it around my hips on my character right now. The Enhanced Blood Textures, Stronger Companions, haven't really gotten into that one <laughs> uh hello darkness because i'm a meme <laughs> i'm a filthy memer uh this one i haven't gotten to yet either uh this one actually makes it so the civil war actually looks like a civil war i love it a uh, diverse imperial soldiers it actually makes sense uh the plate mail retexture just ups the uh quality a little bit when it comes to how it looks uh makes the orcish weapons stop looking a sickly green it looks more like a sort of higher content steel a little bit higher carbon content steel just not polished and whatnot uh this changes the look of how the skyforge steel looks uh this actually makes the uh woodsman friend a little better i have that hanging up right now katana crafting which is where i got my katanas from uh this makes the uh dwarven metal shiny better shaped weapons for the rest of the weapons they actually look realistic and not goofy this one uh apparently got deleted at some point but i still have it on <laughs> uh this changes the color of coin pouches to green so that way it pops out more and uh personally i like green <laughs> Uh, allows you to adopt multiple children. The kids are all right. Changes the faces of the children. I wanted to try it. And, uh, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird, but I still have it. So it's, fuck. It's, it's okay. Anyway, saber cats respawn if you end up having to kill them because they, uh, get a ball in your face. They'll at least respawn. So it's like it's not like you're depopulating Skyrim of them and I feel better that way. <laughs> Friendly and immortal wolves. I meant to get rid of this. <laughs> I really did. Uh, wolves are cute and friendly in some cases. Other times they're just uh, begging to kill something and they uh, sometimes do not want to die at all so like i said i was gonna get rid of that even though i don't want to always be fighting wolves and uh it is kind of an overused enemy it's just it's still uh annoying when you run into the immortal one that doesn't want to die and it's finally aggroed towards everything around it mortal enemies makes the combat a little bit more uh realistic ish i guess you could call it uh if you really want to uh it makes the combat more of a uh what's what i'm looking for 
more of a tactical sort of choice because if you're in the middle of a you know lunge with the sword or axe or whatever uh, you can't then redirect yourself to go after the target should they move which is a problem a lot of the enemies had uh, if you would move away expecting them to do that they would just you know follow you the entire time with a tracking overhead and just pfft, fuck you over this way it actually makes it so it fucks them if they do that maneuver and they don't have you on target uh, this is the survival patch which I have yet to use <laughs> at all uh, the immersive citizens the color patches remover which was apparently a problem um, that was going on with the color textures on some places uh, I think I mentioned it on a couple of other uh, videos where I was showing this game. Uh, sometimes it would just pop up in the stupidest places. This actually fixes that. Uh, standardized weights. That was the mod I was talking about that makes the uh, ore the three weight. Uh, it starts to melt them down uh, slowly to change the weight a little bit as it would. It's a little more realistic that way. Uh, armors actually weigh a proper weight, not just fucking ass load. <laughs> and it just does it for all of the armors across the board. It doesn't just, uh, doesn't just make them gradually increase in weight. The better quality you get, it just makes them a flat weight for all of them. It's just the stats change, which is nice and useful. And it changes up a lot of the other weights of other things, too. So, I recommend it personally. Uh, Haste, this is the uh, realism mod that I was talking about. Uh, changes, <laughs> changes a lot of things. And this mod has surpassed that. Oh, really? That's new? I didn't know that. <laughs> it's just recently done that, I guess. Um, NPC detection of crime distance enemies can chase you from the sidestep issue with fucking bows that's great uh, animals no longer have the ability to report crimes that's great and then it changes the uh, rewards you get from bounty quests and whatnot all of that it, it, it changes a lot it makes it all make a lot more sense when in context which is just fantastic and I love every bit of this and smelting and tanning, level smithing, that's fucking great too. Alright. I've shown all that off, and I have gone way the fuck over time. So I'm just going to end the episode now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and... Showing off mods and then taking on Bottle Gulch Mine because Final Fantasy XV decided to be a dick in update day of recording for you.